Hi, everybody. Okay, let me get chat set up. Make sure we're good there. Okay. Set. Turn the heat off. Hi, Chow. Hey, Terry. Hey, Stacy. Hi, Linnea. Hello, Margaret. Hi, Denise. Hello, Melissa. Hey, Caroline. Hey, Connie. Hi, Judy. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Andrea. Hi, Mary. Those pictures took them this morning right out of my yard. Before my neighbor told me there was two dead birds next to my car. Gross. Hi, Roxanne. Now. So yesterday when I posted that I was going to go live, <laughs> I know Stacy, mine started to give me a little bit of problems this morning too. And I was like, uh, I don't think so, buddy. Um, but yesterday when I said, you know, I don't know what we're going to talk about. Somebody asked about foiling on photos and... I was like, oh, yeah, you can do that on the foil quill. Then I thought, you know, I haven't done that in a long time where way back in the day when Nancy used to do a lot of scrapbooking, we used to, like, color on photos and stuff. So I thought we'd try that out today. Uh, Denise, a toner printer is a laser printer um, or an industrial like copy machine. We use it for foiling. All right, so we are going to play with some pan pastels, but I'll bring them in in a second. Right now, I want to use Baby Joy. Baby Joy, baby, baby Joy. All right, so Baby Joy is warming up right now well the 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 quill does okay so while that's doing that let's see here um i did color uh one of my turtles in with some of the zig markers i use these arteza i'm not zig arteza um the twee markers and I liked all the different colors, and it was so pretty and easy to do, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, but these flowers are flowers. That I took these two pictures out of my yard, but I wanted to show you. This is the original picture, and then I printed them in black and white. So I did one with the hyacinths and daffodils around my little 
cherry tree out front and then I took a picture of the blossoms of the tree and I printed them all out in black and white. So we're going to do a little experimenting here. Terry has always done this and if you have a chance check out Terry's Facebook page is Picture Perfect Greetings. Right Terry? Picture Perfect Greeting Cards. Um, okay, so I have the medium foil quill nib plugged into a little uh, USB block. Um, we're going to do hot foil on here, just on a piece of paper. Whoops, to make sure I have it lined up correctly. All right, I'm not going to be able to read comments for one second while I bring up my Cricut Design Space on my phone. I haven't done this in a few days. That's not true. I used it for a secret project that you'll you see a video them? tomorrow. Did you tell them you can download it like on your iPad or your phone or something? Why don't you tell them that? Where is it? Why am I not seeing I'm freaking uh, special. When you have the Cricut Joy, you you can get an app. Um right there. Oh. Thank goodness you're here, because you I can, would never have seen that. You can get an an app that you can, like, choose different designs and stuff, and you can download it on, like, your phone or your iPad or something, and it's really easy. You can download it, and you can sign up, um, and you can, like, like, enter like a text or something, and yeah, that's the app. <laughs> you really know it all, don't you? How'd you get so smart? I don't know. All right, I want Where's something the... kind of scripty. Where's the stickers you made? Um, what stickers? Those two over there? Yeah, can I have them? You can have one. This one. I turned one into a card. Thank you. Oh, this one's sticky already. Hmm. Can I have this one? Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so I want this to be smaller than four. Four inches, right? One, two, three, four and a quarter. All right, so I just picked a font in Design Studio. I want it to be a little smaller than, actually, it's going to need to be smaller than that, but let's see what it does. Um, I don't want it to be on cut. I want it to be on draw. Okay. I wonder if I can get it. Well, I guess I can't fill it. It's not a fill in. Well, let's see how this works. So. All right, so that's way too big, way too high. I need to move it down. I need to make it smaller. So let me go back and make it a little smaller guy here. Make it on the mat. Okay, so I think if we do right about there, one inch down, yeah. We'll see if this works. I always do a test one. And then I'll be able to get back to your comments. Comments.
Is it lagging, guys? Leah, you're going to have to get off of there because... Okay. Okay, it says it's connecting. Slowly connecting. Confirm your machine is plugged in. What? Oh, we are on. Let's try this again. You know what? It's been sitting on my desk for a few minutes. Maybe I should unplug it and plug it back in. Hold on. When I mean a few minutes, I mean like an hour. <laughs> like scotch tape or this kind of tape? I like tape that you can like take off easily. Yeah. Okay. Um... All materials. I guess it doesn't matter what kind of material. We're just going to say cardstock. We're going to say we're loaded. Ready to go. At this point, I'm just trying to see what the placement is and what the font's going to look like. Perfect greeting cards is Terry's Facebook page. Okay, so now we're going to do this one. We need to unload. Hello, unload on the phone, Nance. Pay attention. Come on. Okay. So we're going to take all of this off. This tests to make sure that our foil quill is not too high or too low. So you can see it foiled pretty nicely there. That is some super sticky washi tape. Okay, so if I put this photo right here, it should foil in the same place if I don't change anything, right? So, I'm just going to take this right there. I know this is slow going here. I was going to prepare a little better and then I realized, well, it's seven o'clock and I don't wanna have you guys wait till nine o'clock again like the other night, last night. Okay, now we're going to do it again, but we're going to do it on this photo. Okay. 
Okay, here we go again. Hello, Judy. Judy, I got my Mod Squad post ready for next week. Well, I have the video ready. I just have to do the post for next week. And you guys are going to love it. can see it is I have to be cut this down because this this is very sticky washi tape oh my gosh okay but you can see it worked there you can see the foiling on top of the photo so if I were to move it down more I could fit it into this space here so that's just one way of doing it I am going to move on to the next way which also involves foiling which is the way that Terry does it So let me move Baby Joy out of the way here. As most of you know, I am a quick crafter. I don't like to wait around, although I'm sure you could get some very intricate, beautiful designs this way. I just wanted to show you guys you can do this because someone said they wanted to put their signature on there. Hi, Kayla. You could definitely download your signature and do it that way. Moving on to other ways. Let me log back into my chat so I can see you guys. Okay. So the other way, which is the way I think is going to be a little more popular, is bringing in... Our little hot foiling buddy. Now you can use either the Spellbinders Glimmer or you can use the, the what the heck just happened? Um, power Surge, too much stuff being plugged in. Okay, so this would be my preferred method. I think this is just going to be easier. So I have, well, I did have the machine on. We have it on low. Can you guys see everything? Okay. Hi, sunshine. All right, so now what we're going to do is we need some dyes. Okay, Gloria. So 
That's cool, Sandy. Hi, Judy. I'm going to do thinking of you because I think thinking of you kind of goes with everything right now. Would you agree? Of course, you could do any, any sentiment you have. This is just some regular gold Gemini paper foil. Because again, we can foil on low setting. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going I'm going to kind of prep the area because I want to make sure that everything is straight. So I want to make sure that my foil is the right size, that I put it in the right place. I'm not going to use that washi tape because it was too sticky. I'm going to use a little bit of this purple tape. So what I'm going to do here is put my foil down on the photo where I want my greeting to go. Then put my thinking of you over it. And ideally, hopefully it's straight. Put a little piece of tape on each corner here. I think that's a little crooked. I think that's crooked too. All right. Now I'm going to put it in my machine. And I want to do low setting with this because I really don't want my paper to curl up. So I want to use the Gemini foil. I want to do low. I'm going to do 15 seconds, and we're going to hit go here. So we're ready to go. Start. Thank you, sunshine. I took it in on my front yard this morning. Okay, we're ready to go. I'm going to run it through Gemini Junior here. Yeah, that's not a real sticker. It was like an accident pretend sticker. I know, it's not a real sticker. I know, mommy has to glue it to something. And I want to very gently. Remove the tape. And if you've ever seen Terry's cards, this is what she does. Look at that. Perfectly foiled. Whoa! So this is my preferred way because I just think it's cleaner. It's easier to do. Just got to make sure that the tape comes off which we can put some undo on there and take some of that off. These are everywhere. What are they? In the house. What are they? Where'd they come from? I don't know. I just stepped on one. I don't know what it is or where it came from. Okay, let's do another one. So if you want to make your own sentiments, I would say um, go on, you know, on the design studio, whether it be Cricut or Silhouette or whatever, and do it that way and use your foil quill. But if you're okay with pre-made dies, you can do it this way with the Gemini, and I think it's a little bit faster to do. What are you doing? Taking paper. And for those of you who said, what would I do with black foil? This is where black foil would come in handy. 
Okay, so here's our second one. Again, plug it in, 15 seconds, warm it up. Warm it up, Chris, I'm about to. What is undo? Undo is what scrapbookers use, here it is, when we get sticky stuff stuck on photos. So you take a little bit of this, it's basically adhesive remover, but it's a very gentle adhesive remover, so it does not lift any colors or scratch your photos. I would not recommend using the hotter foil, like the Spellbinders foil for this, because I think with this being photo paper, you would get over foiling because that foil sticks at a very high heat. So I would recommend if you're going to do this method, probably Gemini foil is gonna be your best option because it heats up at a lower temperature. Okay, let's do that on one of the color photos now. Excuse me. Let's do it on one of these guys. Um, Terry, I will look it up and link it for you. Oops. I don't know if this piece is long enough. Seems like I cut it too short. I did cut it too short. Okay. Moving on. So did everybody have a productive Sunday in quarantine? <laughs> Hi, Kimberly, you're not late. Actually... I'm going to leave it there for that one. I was like, I think I want to move it lower, but I'm okay with that. Use glimmer foil. It didn't do anything. Oh, glimmer foil works for you, Terry? Okay. It didn't curl your paper? Okay, that's on low there. Hey, Kim. It's That's right. It's doing something. What did I do today? Cleaned up two dead birds in my front yard, in my driveway. <laughs> That's not true. I got Mod Squad Challenge video posted, uh, uploaded. I have a video for tomorrow that's going to go live. Um, I uploaded the video for the Not Too Shabby Shop, if you guys got to see this one. It's so cute. Reminds me of my little Wea. Oops. Got to turn the timer on, Nance. I don't know, Kim. Um, my neighbor sent me a text and said, um, he, my neighbor sent me a, t a text and said, there's two dead birds next to your car. Now my neighbor thinks he's kind of funny. So I just thought he was like pulling an April fool's joke or something. So I really didn't get up there and go look right away. And then I was like, what if he's not joking? So I go I out, scared. I go out front and there's two dead sparrows next to my car. So I not, well, it's not sparrows, robins. So I go out and put rubber gloves on, grab bags, wrap them up individually, then throw them in another bag. 
And I'm looking at my car and I'm like, did they hit my car? Because, you know, birds fly into windows and stuff all the time. And I don't see any marks on my car. And so I put a post on Facebook about it. And one of my friends commented on Facebook and said, I don't think they ran in your car. I think they're victim of um, yard uh, poisoning. Like, you know, when people put weeds, weed killer and stuff like that down in the yard. Um, he thinks that they, they probably ingested or got affected by that stuff. So, I don't know. There's two dead birds in my trash can now. That's so cool. How did you get the, like, camera to be like that? Like... The camera to be like, why? Use my phone. You use your phone? Your camera That's really crooked. good then. Yeah. How about my flowers? Don't they look good? Yeah. But how do you make, like, that blurry and, like, this is really clear? I use my phone. <laughs> smell it. Does it smell like the flowers outside? No, it smells like paper. <laughs> it smells like paper. <laughs> I wish we can smell it like one of those scenty cards. That would be cool, huh? Uh oh. What? Connie, you better not be getting sick. What? Didn't put it on for very long. Hi, Pam. How do I keep my transfer folders from getting wrinkled? Okay. Make sure that you are feeding them. Make sure that they're small enough for your project. First of all, don't put, don't put um, long transfer folders in with small projects. So no, you can see mine are like six by six. And make sure when you feed it into your machine, you're feeding it in folded side first. But if your project is like... If your folders are way longer than your project, then you're going to get that where it gets chewed up and stuck in the rollers. All right. Let's do one more. And then we'll move on to our next way of decorating flowers. Aw, Denise, we're here for you, honey. Ooh, did I cut that too short? Yep, I think I cut this a little too short. Where's that other piece of foil? We're going to have to add a little piece on the end here. Just like that. that. This will be the last one we do the hot foiling with. Wait till that warms up. Yeah, it's really tough right now with everything that's going on. You know, everyone's kind of unknown, scared, and so on. Yep, that's what we're here for. If you guys need anything, you need a few minutes to vent, go right ahead. We're here to listen. And just know we will all get through this. We'll get through it together. The weather's warming up, and we're here to make everyone happy and crafty. I can tell you, going outside today, and I just pulled a couple weeds. You know, I didn't do a lot, but it really made me feel a little better just by being outside and, you know, for a few minutes take my mind off things, talk to my neighbor through the, through the yard.
All right, these are all coming out pretty good. Okay, all right, so two ways of doing foiling on photo paper. We did, you can do Yupo, what we did the other day, the, the alcohol inks, you can do that on photo paper. Um, what else? What did we do yesterday? Oh, the foiling on photo paper, you can do that. That came out pretty neat. So a couple different things you can do on photo paper. Oops. All right, the next one I wanted to show you is a little bit messier. Oh, thank you, Sandy. That's all I'm trying to do here, guys, is just come up with ideas to kind of keep our mind off of everything where, you know, if I can just give you an hour, there's plenty of people on here you can chat with, you can talk to. No one here is going to judge you. We all have things going on in our lives right now. So feel free to reach out to anyone here. And I'll show you how that undo works real quick, Terry. It works really good if you have like adhesive um, uh, glue stuck on something. Can you get a couple tissues out of there? Just one or two. What are you gonna do with the tissues? <laughs> okay, give me that. Are you going to blow your nose? No, you're going to clean this up. Hey, Kimberly, why don't you put your email up there? Kimberly says she's willing to be um, in need for anybody that wants to talk. Denise is putting her Facebook up there. Kim, put your uh, email up there, hon. And you guys all have my email address. So you just take a little bit of this on a tissue or a cotton ball and wherever the adhesive is, it just melts the adhesive right off the photograph. Whoa. And I know you can't see it, but Leah's standing here watching me. And it dries pretty quickly and it's not like alcohol. I can't explain what it is. It just melts the adhesive off, but your photo is okay. The pictures don't come off. The ink doesn't fade off. It is perfect. It's like nothing happened. And like Mommy said, the photo is fine. Nothing happened. I don't see any, like, no photo. No. It just takes off that top layer of adhesive, that's all. Ooh, I want to be careful around the foil, though. I don't know if it'll take the foil off. Yeah, I was like, I thought I was going to take the foil off. Now, sometimes if you have a stubborn spot, it might take a few times of rubbing it. What's that orange, orange something? There's some orange remover. It's similar to that, but this is photo safe. So up here, everywhere I had washi tape on this, there's washi tape adhesive residue. It's all coming off and my picture is shiny and glossy and no more residue on there so if you can find it they, they sell it in small and larger ones i used to do a lot of scrapbooking so i have a big one but it's called sticker tape and label remover and it's called undo this says 10.99 from hobby lobby but i'm sure you can find it there we go u-n-d-u but i'll try to find it for you and then this little thing, it's like a scrapey tool. If it's stuck, like you wanna, you wanna scrape the stickers off, that's all that little thing is. Kimberly says she expects an email from Gloria and Judy. Yeah, Terry, I will. 
So I gotta work on that a little more, but I'll get the adhesive off and then be able to work on that. These two came out pretty nice with the colors already done on them. So I don't really need to do too much to those. Now these two are black and white. This one has a little sticky stuff on the right side there. I'll take that off. The next one I wanted to show you guys is just adding some color. So these were color pictures I took and I printed them black and white off of my home printer. As you can see here, let me move the foiling machine. do here is you're going to bring in anything you have pastels chalk pencils color pencils um, markers hi stephanie oh i didn't know that roxanne says undo when you take the sticker off makes it sticky again so on this one i'm going to color some pan pastels i guess this is my lightest pink here And you can use, like I said, color pencils, markers, chalk, pastels, whatever you have. And I'm just going to dip into some light pink here. I think this is called... Uh, red iron oxide tint which is just light pink and I'm just gonna go right into my flower there no oh, this is not working with pan pastels never mind that found that out real quick plan B I guess my paper is too glossy I thought it would work with pan, pan pastels because it works with my big pastels, my other pastels. That didn't even make a dent. Are you spraying stuff? I'm not spraying stuff. Are you spraying stuff? No, because I heard something. Are you smoking stuff over there? No. What are you doing? Wow, you know, I never had this problem with other picture paper. I think I bought the professional paper or something not letting me do anything. I think we're just gonna have to do markers because I can't even get the color pencils to make a dent. What were you using before? Well, I used to be able to color them, but I guess photo paper has come a long way. <laughs> um, did you like that one? Nope. Maybe you have to Nope. And I don't know. Maybe it's the... Maybe... Yeah, maybe That's what I'm thinking, Judy. We gotta go to markers. Let's... Oh, well, that's resisting my color pencils now. That's brighter than I wanted to. Here, you can have this one. Go color it with your markers. What'd you get, Kim? Did you get a laser printer? Oh, that's too dark.
Wow, Kim. Jealous, but so happy for you. You're going to love it. Think of all the money you're going to save by not having to buy dyes. Why do I not have a light pink? What? That's an awesome deal. That's what I need to find. First, I need to find a light pink. Forget it. I'm going in with Copics. That's it. We're going in with Copics. There we go. This is uh, RV23. Not what I wanted, but it'll have to do. Yeah, these are water-based. Water-based will work or Copics will work, either one. Any kind of marker will work because it's wet. This is RV02 that I'm using just to kind of fill in the rest of the colors there on the petal. Now you're not going to get any kind of like fancy blending or anything here because again this is photo paper so it absorbs that ink pretty quickly but all you're doing is just laying down some basic color. Let the picture be the focal image and just do a couple spots of color. that just add a little bit of color that's it and then you don't have to do the whole photo so let me show you on this one yeah I think matte photo paper is what I used before because my crappy old printer I could color on everything on that one Because the photo is black and white, you got to remember it's already highlighting what needs to be highlighted. The shadows are already in there. So all you need to do is just put down a base layer of color. You don't have to worry about any of the highlights or shadows because they're already in there. And when you give this to the recipient, they're like, how did you do that? They think you took the picture this way. They don't realize that you colored on a, on a photograph. And this is all stuff you have at home. Most of you have some kind of a photo printer. Most of you have some kind of markers and this will work with any markers. Arteza markers, Copic markers, water-based markers, Crayola markers, whatever markers you have. And you can print photos off the internet. You don't have to go outside and take a picture. You probably already have photos in your computer. 
Look at that, just adding that little bit of color. What are the old photos they used to like put the sepia tint into them? So all we're doing is, is just putting some color in there. And let's say you want to add a little green. I could have changed the whole color of that flower from purple to pink to whatever, white, yellow. A little bit of green in there. Okay. Say I wanna add a little darker green. You can go very muted, you can go very bright tones. What are you doing over there? That's pretty. What kind of markers did you use? Crayola. You use Crayola markers? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Leah, see, Leah colored them in. Nice. Use some dark markers. Show me which markers you use. These are not Crayolas. Those are yes, permanent. They are. Let me see what you used. I think you used some permanent markers there, sweetheart. I think he used paint markers or something, glitter markers. I think you used some other kind of markers because that's really opaque looking. You didn't use those. Yes, I did. You did? Yeah. Oh. Okay. They look like metallic markers or something. They're fun. They're f they gave a like a little glimmer to them. These are like my favorite colors in the set. They're yeah. so good because now it's white and you can color over it. Yeah, you can color whatever you want. That's so cool. This one I probably over lightened when I pr printed it out. I'm gonna color the whole thing. Go ahead, you color the whole thing. Now I feel like my purple flower is not purple enough. They said, love it, Leah.
Yes, we all need haircuts. Yeah, Julie Faye found Balzer. That's my, that's my um, sister from another mother. <laughs> I think I want to add a little more purple to this. Let's see here. So this would be a great idea if you're looking at making cards for, you know, right now to send to someone, maybe you have friends or relatives you haven't seen in a while. I did get teary eyed today. My aunt posted a picture of my dad um, before he passed away. And as soon as the picture came up, like I started bawling because I didn't expect to see a picture of him on the computer. Um, but what a great idea to be able to print a picture like that and you know anything and just maybe color color around it or just do the little foiling on there and send it to that person um you know you have we always look for for father's day card ideas um so just some ideas for you guys to play around with i really like the chalk idea i don't know why it didn't work but i think it's because this is glossy but if you print out matte photos the color pencil or the chalk idea works out really well too And this does work with water-based as well as Copic markers. Kim, that's all I use is boxed hair dye. So here you can see I'm using the Arteza markers and they work just as fine on the glossy paper. So it doesn't have to be alcohol markers. It can be any markers you have to lay that color down. And if you want to stamp over these and stamp a sentiment, you can do that. Um, I would just be careful if you're going to do any kind of heat embossing because, again, this paper will curl. So if you're going to do heat embossing, make sure your gun is already preheated nice and hot before you do that. Me too, Denise. I always color my own hair. Where are you going, Leah? Leah, where are you going? She just left me. Where's my drink you took from me? 
I have it back? No. Did you drink it all? That one's way prettier than the other one. <laughs> I guess we'll do a little green on that one. I will never embrace gray hair, ever. My mom is 70 something years old and still colors her hair. I'm gonna be the same way. And I don't know if it's like an Asian thing, but you don't see, unless they're like really, really old, old idea, old grandmas, you don't see too many Asians with gray hair. We color that stuff. <laughs> She's talking to Dee Dee. Even when she sees one gray hair, she colors it. This is like coloring, but not having to color in a color book. Coloring book. So, so satisfying. Um, I will link it for you. I think it's called Kirkland Professional Photo Paper. I got it off of Amazon, but I'll link all of that for you. I'll link um, the dyes that I use, the hot foil, everything for you guys, the markers. I'll link it all for you. The only one I don't like is this one. We'll have to fix this one. Really, Connie? Connie says she dyed her hair blue. That's so cool. If I could, I would dye my hair like hot pink. I dyed my hair purple. Yeah, Leah had purple uh, highlights and then purple streaks in her hair for a short period of time. Now she's blonde again. Yeah, the purple ran out. Did you guys finish watching the crazy tiger king because let me tell you something at least you're not in jail for holding tiger cubs that guy is crazy okay this is starting to look a little better now Need to add some more color to it, that's all. There we go.
That's very nice, Kimberly. Thank you, honey. Have a good night. <laughs> Bernie, that's what I said. She dumped him. Okay, Terry. <laughs> Terry said she's too young to go gray. We're all too young to go gray. So tempted to go fishing today, you guys. But I was like, man, I don't need to get a ticket for being out here and fishing when I'm not supposed to be. Because, Gloria, we're in a, um, our county is shelter in place, so you're not supposed to leave your home unless you're going to the doctor's or the grocery store. So, and it just cracks me up because if you drive by Lowe's, like, there's 80 billion people at Lowe's right now. Because I was going to go buy paint. I was like, well, maybe I'll paint my, my bathroom, my kitchen, you know, since I'm going to be home all week. And... As soon as I saw the parking lot at Lowe's, I was like, yeah, no thanks. You want to expose yourself. Everybody going to Lowe's at the same time. They're crazy. There we go. Pretty. So, what do you guys think? You guys are going to try? Yeah, you have to alter that I am scrappy because that's what we see is I am scrappy. And then I think scrappy dubby doo. <laughs> so, just to show you guys again the different ways you can alter photographs. You can use your scan and cut and foil over it. I probably should have moved that down, but again, it was our little practice piece. You can leave your photos in color and just use your spell binders or your foil press and foil over them.
or you can foil them and leave them black and white or you can foil them and color them or you can just color them and again you can use water-based markers or alcohol-based markers and then we can just simply make these into card fronts and send them out I'm not good at e coloring either, Suzette, but like I said, these are already, like, the, the when you turn a picture into black and white, it already uh, maintains its highlights and its um, tones of color. So it's already dark where it needs to be dark. It's light where it needs to be light. So all you need to do is really lay down one layer of color. You don't have to put, um, you don't have to do blending of any kind of colors. The, the, the photograph has already done that for you. Um, so here would be my concern with that. It should work because we did the laser printing yesterday on photo paper. Um, all the, uh, the things we made yesterday. Where'd they all go? These were printed on photo paper. These are printed on photo paper. So it should work because these were printed on photo paper and they foiled just fine. Oops. Bernie, go eat your pizza. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of things you could do with photographs. Somebody had asked to see Baby Joy, and somebody asked, what can we do with photographs? And you don't have to have a hot foiling machine. You can try printing it through your um, photo printer. Oops, sorry. And even just coloring it, just putting a regular sentiment on it. I mean, here is the one that I colored, and here's the real one. I mean, clearly you can see which one is better. But, I mean, I can't fault the printer for trying to be as good as me. <laughs> but it's fun. It's just something to try out. Whoa, Leah went all night scene on hers. I tried, it was a light color, so I didn't know why. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it, Leah. It's like my imagination. That is your imagination. Do you have little white, you can put little white stars on there. Can I do that? Or make it like little, um, little, uh, glow bugs. I know what I can do. Hold on. Here. Good job, Leah. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you tonight. Now, if you need a pick-me-up and you would like one of these cards, you know what to do. Send me an email. I'll send you the card. Still waiting for some stamps to come in the mail, so it might be a few days. If you're, a member, if you're not a member of our Facebook page, you can join us over at Foiling and Stamping Fun. We are a... Loving, supportive, crafty community, no judging, no negativity, no bashing, none of that stuff. So this is our group. It's Facebook Foiling and Stamping Fun. And you can always email me at nancystamps15 at gmail.com. With any questions or concerns, I will get back to you and help you guys out. Somebody did ask me about masking paper, and I cannot find the comment. So if that person can please email me again, I will send you. The masking paper I use is Inka Dinka Do stamping masking paper. But somebody had asked me, and I went back to try to find the comment, and I couldn't find it. Now, at the bottom of this video, I will link for you. Um, thank you, Stacy. I will link for you guys the photo paper I use. Um... I will also link for you the markers, the Arteza markers, and the Spellbinders hot foiling die on there for you. 
Okay, guys? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. That's pretty. And stay tuned. Tomorrow morning we have a video going up showing how to use the... Um, well, what did we do today? Oh, the Kitchen Sink Stamps Hummingbird set. That's what it was. Good night. Stay safe, guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make you get sure. insomnia at 5 o'clock in the morning like I did today. Watch my videos. They'll put you to sleep. <laughs> Make sure to um, like and subscribe and hit the link down below. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And if you're watching this afterwards, um, I hope you have enough time. I hope you have a nice time. Hope you are safe. And bye. Very good.